Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, it is Friday today. I have got my water bottle that I'm working my way through. This is my first one of these today. I need to get about another two or three in. This is from Typo, and I really like it. Um, it says, where is my fucking wine? So, really like it. The thingy's good, it doesn't drip anywhere. You can clip it onto things as well, which I like. It's from Typo, I got it off ASOS. I'm enjoying it. On to the topic of this video. Today we're gonna to be trying some milk makeup and I am starting a series called Model Tries. I feel like being a legitimate working model um, in the fashion world is one of my only unique selling points and therefore I am going to milk it. Let's see what I did there. Um, for all that it's worth. Um, especially as a lot of the brands that I often get asked about, um, you know, like nude sticks, Glossier, Milk, are the kind of um, sort of a little bit hit and miss brands that because they maybe use more sort of cream products or um, lighter layers and things it's quite a kind of glowy glossy minimal um, beauty enhancing rather than like heavy makeup which is more of the sort of Instagram trend now um, it is more of a model makeup and there have kind of been a lot of reviews saying that you know this stuff is great if you're already a model because you don't need a lot of makeup and therefore you might really like some of this stuff um and so i thought it'd be interesting to try i kind of did it in two different ways i already had a product from milk which i love and adore and use on a regular basis and that is the bronzer um but i did pick up kind of a lip and cheek product i've got the i've got an eyebrow product um a mascara a lip balm um, and some sort of skincare that came with it as well. I didn't pick up a foundation or a powder because I have a load of powders and I don't need any more. Same goes for foundation. And at the moment, I feel like I have been doing more of a just concealer face because I haven't had, although I've had like a few sort of problem areas, I'm trying to wear less makeup in general. And I feel like buying a foundation just for the sake of putting in a video is kind of a waste of money and a little bit stupid and i'd be worried that i wasn't going to use it again um as for the eyebrow stuff i didn't purchase an eyebrow pencil the only eyebrow pencil that they actually do is a really kind of waxy eyeliner looking pencil like as in an actual pencil and i have seen previous reviews already um of people using it saying it's really soft and just going to slide off and to be honest that's just going to be a complete and utter waste of money for me i know i'm not going to use it again so there's just kind of no point so a few bits that i just thought i'm definitely not going to use that again i skipped out on um i managed to get like the kush pack of minis which was i think 45 pounds for a load of miniatures and then it came with this kind of hydrating mask the cannabis one um and some eye patches as well and then i purchased a few things separately also i have already filmed this video and half the footage just disappeared i think my camera must have cut out or something and just so there was a huge chunk missing what i did discuss in that um is that things like the um eye pigments and the concealer although they're already packaged like this they don't come in um cardboard boxes they actually come in plastic tubes which to me seems like a stupid thing to do it just feels like too much plastic so off the bat i was not um that impressed with the packaging i feel like although you can recycle plastic a lot of it still goes to landfill so if you can reduce your plastic intake then that would be a really good idea um putting these in a cardboard box rather than a plastic tube i feel like although the plastic tube kind of like looks cool um i feel like it's a real waste and it annoyed me if i'm being perfectly honest <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go in with the skincare actually because I feel like this is going to be interesting. So I have used a lot of this on my face, um, <laughs> but I've used it once um, other than the bronzer, obviously. This has got like a really weird matte texture. This is supposedly a hydrating face mask. It is the cannabis hydrating face mask. A lot of milk stuff come in sticks. Their packaging is quite sort of um, handy, travel friendly and innovative um so it's brand new i have not put it on my face yet i have kind of swirled a bit on the back of my hand before hence you're probably going to see that it's a little bit smushy because i also damaged it trying to take the 
plastic cap off most of the things that come in a stick form also again have a plastic protector which to me there's more of an issue of you possibly messing it up trying to get the cap off because it was quite stiff and if you've got a screw top again unnecessary plastic i don't really understand why you have a protector inside when you've already got a screw top lid doesn't really make sense to me um so i have kind of put a little bit on the back of my hand but i thought that we would go in and do this first i haven't used this on my skin you can do it on dry skin or damp skin whoa this is cool it's really nice and slidey obviously do it on clean skin i have cleansed my skin this morning i haven't put moisturizer on this is bare skin unmoisturized what i will say is that if you're applying it like this i'm trying to get an angle to show you can you see that you're going to miss a chunk just because of the shape so i feel like maybe going in with like a clean hand afterwards just to kind of get into all those crevices because depending on the um size of the stick obviously you're not going to be able to kind of get into all the kind of nooks and crannies of your face we were supposed to leave this for 10 or 15 minutes so now that this is on i am just going to sit here for about 10 minutes i am a little bit weirded out about how this is kind of it feeling a little bit like a clay mask it's starting to like feel like it's drying up already don't really understand how it can be sort of this dry and be moisturizing at the same time but maybe someone who is um a little bit better on ingredients than me could tell you a little bit about why that would be the case okay so on first assessment my skin i mean my skin wasn't too bad sort of it wasn't on the dry side anyway to be honest i don't feel like that's done an awful lot <laughs> to be honest when i think about hydrating mask or something i feel like i think about like the honey nourishing one from the body shop or they've got an oat one or the oat fix from lush um i feel like maybe because i know my skin is dehydrated even though i do still get sort of oily most skins are dehydrated to be honest um this doesn't feel like it's given me a load of moisture to be honest with you and if i had a really dry skin then that is not the kind of formula i would be putting on my skin because it was almost like a slippy like a clay formula and that to me just doesn't scream moisture so i'd be really interested to see like if any of you have tried it or what other people have said i haven't actually seen any, any reviews on that i know that milk is kind of made is um known for their skincare as well like supposedly it's quite good um i personally haven't tried any of the other things from there but i am feeling a little bit tight i am going to go in with their um cooling eye stick the first time i tried this i thought that it was nice i'm not seeing like massive um results to be honest um i actually have been seeing people use it in areas where they are actually a little bit red as well and having great success with that so i get a little bit of redness kind of through my um brown line area and the sides of my nose so i'm just going to put a little bit there as well it does feel really cold on the skin if any of you have ever tried the kind of headache the headache roller balls i think there's one called like forehead in the uk or something then that is what it kind of feels like i've zoomed you in a little bit and i have popped on a little bit of the revolution hydration boost moisturizer as well it's quite a light kind of gel formula um, i'm then going to go in with the color medium this is the flex concealer as i said so i'm going in with the medium color as you can see i put a little bit down my nose i'm gonna get some sort of sorted out where i get my redness so i'm actually going to take a real technique sponge just to blend that into the skin i don't need an awful lot of coverage like on my cheek area and stuff to be honest just going to pop a little bit more under the eyes and over those kind of marks you can still see a few there <laughs> so hopefully you can see a difference um 
I've got a couple of layers of concealer in this area where I had some redness around my nose and things. Um, if I tilt, you can see, I mean, it's definitely made a massive difference. I have quite a lot of darkness around this eye. I mean, this is by no means like, I don't ever really have like awful bags or anything like that. Um, it has been able to cover up a couple of the kind of lighter marks. I could go in again and just like spot on top, but I mean, we're going for a quite a light natural makeup today. I'm just kind of milling around the house. I'm gonna hit the gym later, there's no point. If you are a natural kind of um, concealer person, then this is really nice. I'm impressed. It has a kind of natural sort of satiny finish. It's not super glowy, but it's not sort of matte and drying either. What I will say is that if you are quite blue under here, you can still see some darkness. So maybe use a corrector underneath or something like that. But actually, as far as the concealer goes, um, I mean, I mean, as you know, like my skin is pretty freaking good most of the time to be honest I only really get like a couple of spots and stuff um my dark circles aren't too awful so for me this is absolutely enough to be going out with a full you know and it be a full face so I'm just gonna do the same on the other side and then we will get to some of the other face products so the next thing I have to show you is something that was already in my kind of makeup arsenal before I started and I really like to use it with a um, Real Techniques contour brush. These have stopped being talked about, but I still see everyone using them. Um, these are still some of my um, favorite, favorite brushes of all time, and they're so easy to wash and also really good if you use cream products and cruelty free and vegan, amazing. Um, this is the matte stick bronzer. It is matte in that it doesn't have any glitter or anything like that in it. What I will say is that there is a little bit of a sheen to it um, when applied to the skin. I have tried to um, apply straight from the stick. You can absolutely do that. Um, if you've got kind of less makeup on underneath, it works really well that way. Um, if you've got kind of a full face on, I would just be nervous um, because it may pull up some of your foundation underneath. Um, it doesn't really do that too badly, but I always prefer just to go in with a brush. Um, they do two colours of this. So if you are of a darker complexion than me, then you are covered as well. Um, it's not super orange. It's not super red. It's kind of like a nice in between like natural tan colour. I think it's really flattering. I actually think that I could go darker with this and use the um, darker colour and it would also look fine. It does blend into the skin really, really nicely. I kind of just like to take a kind of buffing brush and then buff this out just a little bit in certain areas just to make sure it's all nice and blended. As I said, I don't um, have a sort of powder um, from them, so I'm just gonna go in with my Jeffree Star one, which is my current favorite. We've got the colour um, Topaz, I think. Now that I've gone in with my base, I'm going to use the Kush Lip Balm. This is really nice. It's got an ever so slightly um, sweet taste. Feels really moisturising. It's not quite as like slippy as Vaseline, so I think you could use a lip pencil over this quite nicely. But if you just want a little bit of shine to the lips, then this would be really nice. I'm then going to go in and do my brows. Now, I bought the um, Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the colour Grind. Now, because as I said, I've tried to film this once already, I know that it's too dark for me. Um, I do really like it though. But what I will say is that there's no way that I would want to do my brows and not have a pencil. So I am going to still use a little bit of my... Um, NYX pencil. This is the um, micro brow pencil from them. So I like to comb through my brows a little bit first because that just kind of tends to take off any kind of powders and stuff that you've um, placed through them by accident or if you've got foundation on them and whatnot. Just zoomed you in a little bit just so you can get a little bit of a better idea of what I'm going to do. So I am going to fill in my brows a little bit and then I'm going to go in with the Kush and then I will just see where we are and what I feel like we need. So, I mean, as you can see, my brows are pretty full anyway, just to show you beforehand. I have grown them a little bit thicker towards the end now, um, but the 
bit that I need help in is kind of this bit where that arch is. The front and mo you know the majority of my brow is pretty full. And the same on this side really, this kind of, um, this front portion is pretty full. We need some help sort of towards the end and when you get that natural kind of arch. So I'm not gonna worry about making them perfect. I am gonna go in with the Kush Fiber Brow um, Mascara now, is that what it's called? Fiber Brow Gel. Um, I don't notice any fibers in it, I have to say. I'm gonna wipe off a little bit just because I do know it's a little bit dark for me. Um, but it has got kind of like a nice ashy color. And I'm just brushing this through the brow. If you have really super full brows already and you don't need that little bit of extra help through the ends, then you could totally get away with this because it does deposit enough colour. Um, but they don't feel like really gross and crispy, if that makes sense. It's just sort of got a nice tint and a nice hold to it. However, as I said, I don't actually notice the fibres, but they definitely have made my brows look more kind of... You can see all the hair um, and they are kind of darker. As I said, um, I've got the colour Grind. I would prefer a lighter colour. Eyes, I'm going to be using the um, eye pigment. I'm just going to use this on my finger. I've got the colour Gig. It's just a really pretty gold colour. I feel like these are really nice for a really super simple eye. I feel like you can just kind of pat them on as you would do with like a paint pot or something like that. You can kind of just whack it on <laughs> and then blend these out the first time i used this i think i put a little bit too much on and what i would say is just be a little bit wary um that if you put too thick of a layer on i have found that when it dries you kind of get like cracks in it if that makes sense so i'd start with it with a really thin layer and then maybe just go back in with another thin layer over the top to kind of build up a little bit more pigment if you want it there. Um, but they blend out really beautifully. As I said, like I feel like it's kind of best done with a finger. I just feel like that's the easiest kind of way to do it. They do these in some really funky colours as well. Um, it does feel quite expensive though. I mean, this tube of eye pigment is about, I think it's about £20. For one eye product, that feels really expensive to me. Um, if this is something that you are gonna wear every day, you have like one work look and this is kind of it, then it's definitely worth picking up, I would say. Um, but you can get a similar vibe from using a like a paint pot or like one of the Maybelline 24 hour ones or something like that, so. However, like the colour's really pretty. They do some like fantastic bright colours as well. I just feel like it's a little bit expensive. Now I'm going to use the Kush Mascara. This has a massive wand. This is what I noticed last time. It's got a massive wand and it's quite a wet formula, um, which I am not like a massive fan of really wet formulas. I feel like I might really, really like this when it's been sort of like dried out a little bit more so maybe like in like five or six days or something but like there's more opportunity to make quite a big mess with it i feel like you could add another layer still if you wanted to and keep going but i feel like a little bit like the um long com hypnos that you might find it does get to a point where it gets a little bit clumpy but i mean that's a couple of layers and i feel like it's enough drama that if i was wearing a darker eye i'd be really happy with that now my bottom lashes are like freakishly long in compare like in comparison to the top lashes. Um what I would oh this is what I mean. What I would say is it's potentially messy because the the formula is really wet. However, I do really like this mascara. Um it's quite a big wand though for the bottom lashes. Combined with the fact that it's a really wet formula, I feel like the potential for disaster is great. <laughs> um however, this is not the kind of brush that I would normally like and I think it's great. It's done a wonderful job. I mean, the comparison like this eye to this eye, you can see. Um, I'm actually really impressed with it. I don't know how like sweat proof or like daily life proof this would be. It still feels like, yeah. So I've had that on for a couple of minutes now. It still doesn't feel dry on my top ones. And 
that to me is a problem because I'm going to start going for the other eye, blinking, looking around now. And if that touches, that's going to cause a mess there. So that's what I mean when I say that I'm not a massive fan of wet formulas. So I have done this eye. Um, again, this has been on for at least sort of a couple of minutes now and I'm still getting um, product off. What I will say is once it's kind of set, there is no kind of transfer going on on this hand. Um, was a little bit of a struggle again on this bottom lash line just because the brush is quite big. Um, however, I do really like that it's kind of coated all of my lashes. It's quite voluminous, um, made them really long as well. However, again, does the, the wetness of the um, product definitely does kind of um, leave room for error if you're not kind of careful about making a mess. And it did start to come a little bit on this eyelash side. Um, I've got a little bit of a gap in this area at the moment because I, I don't know like a group of my eyelashes just decided to stop growing and the rest continued so I've got like a funny gap here um, and it's as I kind of went over to try and elongate the few <laughs> that have hung around in solidarity um, it did start to clump a little bit so I had to take my spoolie and just comb out but after that it was fine so really black it's really dark and it separates and it gives you like a nice like chunky lash without looking super like clumpy um, but as I said the more you layer it on it probably would start getting clumpy um I smushed this into the lid accidentally my bad um this is the what is this called um glimmer glow oil lip and cheek this is like a cheek and lip tint again this was like 12 pounds it's really small i have a real issue with milk makeup's pricing in general i think it's very expensive um their products are really good and i'm having like a wonderful experience with my face right now however i do feel like for a lot of makeup that is just kind of cream and sticks and things especially for like the site this was like 12 pounds that to me let me just pop the lid back on this was 12 pounds you can get foundations that are cheaper than that do you know what i mean i know milk makeup is not like a drugstore brand it's not super high end as well it does kind of fall somewhere in the middle but some of their products i find to be really quite expensive for the kind of stick formulation in comparison to lots of other products that i've tried um, especially when i was looking at their eyeliners and things that was one of the main reasons that i didn't pick up like an eyeliner or a brow pencil because for what they were i felt they were really expensive and the reviews on cult beauty weren't actually amazing for those products either so um, you could, again, use this with your fingers and stuff. I prefer to use a brush with all of my cream products. I just find that I prefer it that way. Um, so I'm going to take a, a Nanchi contouring brush. And I'm just going to pop over the cheek. I like to take this a little bit into the temple area-ish. also going to take this as a lip colour as well and just see what happens because it does say cheek and lip. As I said, I've got a little bit of that Kush um, lip balm on. Hmm. The colour is sheerer than I thought it was going to be um, from shopping on the website, aren't they always? I feel like if you've got darker skin tone and stuff, you really need to sort of pick your colours quite carefully. Bearing in mind this is lip, this is lip and cheek, <laughs> oh my god. Bearing in mind this is lip and cheek, it's actually really comfortable on the lips. I don't mind the pink colour on me either. Um, doesn't feel like it's going to be drying, probably will get that kind of like weird gunky stuff piling up, I would assume. I wish it was a little bit more glossy and not sheeny, so maybe if they do like a lip gloss or something. Let me just okay so popping that lip balm over the top has actually worked really nicely i am actually quite happy with that combo it's more pink than i would normally wear um cheek wise this feels it's very it's very sheeny for me this is quite a nice kind of dewy if you've got dry skin then uh, layering these products like this would be really nice i do really like all of the products um, I don't have anything else to show you. What I would say is that if you have an oilier skin um, type, 
then like especially in the summer this is going to be a no-go but i feel like some of their color products would be really appropriate for you me personally i wouldn't necessarily layer all, all of these products and use just a full face of milk i feel like that's maybe a little bit too kind of dewy shiny um finish for my personal preference and also just what my skin can handle and what it will be able to keep throughout the day but um the concealer is really nice i'm really impressed with that um, I really like the brow product. Actually, today it doesn't look as bad as maybe I just put a little bit too much on yesterday. Um, I feel like wiping off the brush really helped with the fact that I still kind of wish I'd picked a slightly lighter colour. Um, mascara, as I said, is not my favourite just because of the wet formula, but I do really like the look it gave my lashes. So I feel like in sort of four or five days, maybe, um, when it's sort of been open it will kind of dry out a little bit and then I think I'll really love it. The lip and cheek product, I know they have another set that's kind of more um, like a matte, much like their bronzer sticks, I think, and they're kind of like the big chunky ones. I know that was kind of the original one. These um, Glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek things, I think are really nice. This was, I believe, the darkest colour though. So if you have a dark skin tone, I don't think you'll be able to use that product unless you're using it as a highlight, which to me is a real shame. Also, even though like £12 is quite uh, like an inexpensive price for an item of makeup, for the size you're getting, I feel like that's still quite expensive for what this is. Like 12 quid to me is like this kind of drugstore price. But when you see the size of this, when it arrives, if you're not kind of shopping in person, because in the UK, I think the only stockist we have is um, Cult Beauty, then... I was really shocked that this was so tiny, not gonna lie to you. Um, this, is my, this is my issue with milk. I really like the kind of ingenuity and the kind of overall kind of aesthetic as the brand. I'm a big fan of the packaging um, without the excess plastic because that really irritates me. I don't know why they put everything in tubes on top. I think it should be cardboard boxes that we can recycle, but never mind. Um, I like this kind of formula, especially if I'm going to be using stuff like this for my kit. I think it's easy, it's travel friendly, you can use fingers, you can use brushes, it's really kind of user friendly. I've seen mixed reviews on some of their more um, kind of weirder packaging, like the oils and things with rollables. I think that's a little bit kind of like too far for me, a little bit gimmicky and not necessarily kind of, I've seen mixed reviews about it working properly and people just getting irritated with the packaging. Um, but for the most part, this kind of stick formula works really, really well for a brand where it's more about kind of enhancing and like a more natural kind of glowy, youthful look. I also feel like their products are really nice for either like younger people that are just starting out because you don't need anything heavy or like an older skin as well who maybe need stuff that's a little bit more hydrating a little bit more like glow inducing and for anyone in general that just really likes kind of glowy dewy makeup um top picks actually would be the um concealer i'm really surprised their eye pigments i'd already had experience with this before i'd had like a sample and stuff and i actually really like the eye pigments um my only issue i mean you do get a lot in here the reality is if you're not a makeup artist or something you're really going to struggle to use this up i would have thought but they are about 20 pounds which i feel like for an eye product in a squeezy tube feels really expensive i think even the mac paints not the pots actual kind of squeezy paints are i want to say like 14 pounds or something this feels really expensive to me um but they are fantastic and they do have a really cool range of colors what i'd like to see them maybe would be to bring out some matte colors though because all of the ones that they carry are currently shimmer the lip balm is really nice i don't know what the price is on its own but getting the kind of value pack for me with a mini cooling eye the lip balm the mascara, the eye patches, and the um, hydrating mask seems to be a really good value pack that I think currently retails for 45 on the Cult Beauty website. Um, the Kush Fiber Gel, I would absolutely buy this again, and I'm going to continue to use it. I think maybe just wiping off a little bit of the product makes it work, just because my colour choice was bad pick for me. Um, 
I like all of the products. There's not a product in here that I really hate. I feel like the cooling stuff doesn't necessarily do an awful lot, if I'm being totally honest, but maybe it's something that you need to continue to use. Um, I will continue to try out the face mask as well. Let me know if you've actually tried this. I feel like, as I said at the start, it's a weird formula for something that's supposed to be moisturising and I didn't feel like it prepped my skin for makeup. That's not what it's for, but I would assume that much like some of the other moisturising masks that I have in my kind of arsenal of, you know, if I'm going out or, you know, I'm about to do like a decent video or something like that, then I will always kind of prep my skin by doing a hydrating mask if it needs it. This didn't give me what I was expecting from it from a hydrating mask. Um, what I will say though is I do quite like the stick kind of way of applying it, but as I said at the start, you are going to miss kind of little bits and you will need to go in with like a clean hand or maybe one of those like silicone brushes. Again, you could use like a standard foundation brush and just take it off the top if you wanted to instead of applying it directly to the skin, um, which would be another good way of doing it. But overall, like their products are really nice, beautiful, dewy, glowy, natural. Um, I didn't really have any problems with any of the products. I just have a little bit of an issue with some of the price points. Um, for some of the products but they are good products and I would highly recommend you go and check out Milk. Um, really 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 like that bronzer as well. I've, I've had that in my makeup bag for nearly a month now. I feel like it's really natural it kind of blends really well into the skin. I think if you're contouring and bronzing and stuff um, light kind of products like this are really good for that if you want more of a seamless blend and you're going for that more kind of natural finish. Just gonna come a little bit closer, I'll just turn my light down because my um, lighting's changed again, um, just so you can see a little bit of the skin. I haven't tried the powder as I said and you can see like there's a little bit of discoloration still peeking through because I have just used concealer and I haven't put the concealer all over my face. I've just Kind of use their color products and put the concealer kind of concentrating in the center and then a little bit where i had some marks i don't know whether you can see like a few still peeking through but i'm really happy with the coverage of that i think it looks really nice i feel like properly turned out i feel glowy i think my color picks were although a little bit more on the pinky side you can see this does have like a real kind of pinky sheen to it which is why i didn't pick up a highlight i feel like i wasn't going to need one and i'm not a big fan of like the holographic looking ones or just there's something that i'm not going to use but yeah i'm actually really really impressed with this stuff so if you um have tried anything from milk then please do let me know down below what you think i'm going to zoom you out quickly overall really impressed with milk um, someone please get me on their pr list that'd be great my only issue with them is that it was quite expensive i, I resent paying nearly 20 quid for one eye color when somewhere like mac does something with a very similar formula for cheaper um mm, i don't know some of their price points are a bit iffy to me but the overall products are amazing i'm really really impressed i feel like i look really glowy and healthy and like pretty like i really like how i look today sound like an arsehole saying that but i do this has turned out really nice as i said a little bit more pink than i would normally wear but like really really like it highly highly recommend you go and check them out if that's in your sort of price range um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in another episode of model tries hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed it hit that subscribe button if you're not part of the james family um my boyfriend's coffee business stuff is down below if you're a fan of coffee and you like drinking it and you know anyone who wants a coffee gift um dm me on instagram send me a picture if you do end up purchasing any and yeah that's about it i'll see you in the next one okay bye